Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In the previous session, we had discussed about ordered rule list. That is how to create a learning order rule list. Now, based on the concept, we will consider an example and construct a rule list. This is the given data set. The given data set contains, this is the given example. This contains four parameters length, gills, bake, teeth. That is the four features. And five P12, P5 or five positive instances. N12, N5 or 5 negative instances. We have 5 positive instances and 5 negative instances. So, initially, how many number? 5 positive and 5 negative. From these 5 positive and 5 negative instances, how they are categorized? That is, in the total, suppose if length is equal to 3, how many number of positives and negatives? If length is equal to 4, if length is equal to 5, Similarly, on gills, if yes or no, big, yes or no, deep, many or few, we will categorize each and every one. That means, these are the different categories. First, I am writing, if length is equal to 3, if length is equal to 3, how many number of positives? 1, 2, 2 positives and 0 negatives. So, length is equal to 3, 2 positive, 0 negative. Now, length is equal to 4. If length is equal to 4 means 1 positive, 1, 2, 3 negative. 1 positive, 3 negative. If you are writing in this fashion, it is very easy to construct the tree. If length is equal to, so it is very easy to construct the rule. If length is equal to 5 means 1, 2. 2 positives. 1, 2 negatives. So, 2 positives and 2 negatives. So, the length is completed. Now, move to gills. Gills has two options. One is gills is equal to yes. Gills is equal to yes means we have 0 positives. 0 positives and how many number of negatives? So, 4 negatives. And gills is equal to no. Gills is equal to no means we have 5 positives and the remaining 1, 1 negative. Now move to the third feature, big. Some big is equal to yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 5 are positive. 5 are positive and negatives 1, 2, 3, 3 negatives. And weight is equal to no. No means it contains 0 positives and 2 negatives. 0 positives and 2 negatives. Finally, teeth. Teeth is equal to many. 1, 2, 3. 3 positives. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 negatives. And teeth is equal to few. 2 positives, 1 negative. This is the initial construction. That is, initially all the instances are considered. Initially all the instances are considered. Now, what is our first step? We are defining a rule such that most of the instances have to be eliminated. Here we are considering only the positives. Remember, our aim is to consider the positive instances. So, which literal, all these are called letters, which literal is to be considered. So, observe, similar to decision trees, observe that gills is equal to yes contains zero possible. That is, this is a pure class. This is a pure class. Almost, actually we have five negatives. It contains four negatives and the positives are zero. That means, whenever gills is equal to yes, obviously the class is considered as a negative class. Because it does not contain any positive. So, my first rule is, suppose here I am writing the rules. My first rule is, if gills is equal to yes, then class is equal to or negative. Because based on the purity, all the positives, if it is yes, we have zero number of positives. And majority class is negative. So, obviously we are considering as all are negative class. Whenever this rule is applied, 
whenever this rule is applied on the set of instances we have to reduce the instances we have to reduce the instances that means suppose if length is equal to 3 that means we does not need any negative class if length is equal to 3 so length is equal to 3 this one here gives is equal to no no problem length is equal to 3 gives is equal to no no problem so we have only two lengths then what is the case if length is equal to 3 and gives is equal to yes so the number of instances that is the number of instances 2 plus 0 minus if any changes no after modifying the pre you got it again i will explain if gives is equal to yes then the class is negative we doesn't need any negative class so length is equal to 3 here gives is no this is included length is equal to 3 gives is equal to no this is also included that is whenever gives is equal to yes that statement is eliminated similarly for length is equal to 4 length is equal to 4 gives is equal to no this is included and we have only one positive so this is a reduced fraction one positive if gives is equal to yes so in length 4 2 are eliminated 2 are eliminated only we have length is equal to 4 3 statements but by using this S condition, these N2 and N4 are eliminated. We have only N5. That means only one negative, one positive and one negative. You observe the number of negative instances are eliminated. Similarly, similarly for length is equal to 5. So all two are placed because gives is equal to no. And in this length is equal to 5, we have two instances. All these are S cases. All these are S cases means these two are eliminated. That is simply 0 negatives are considered. 0 negatives are considered. Similarly, gives is equal to S. The statement completely removed. That is that split is already considered. That literal is already considered. Now gives is equal to no. Gives is equal to no. We have five statements. All these five statements are included. All these five statements are included. Five plus. Yes, these four are removed. Whenever it is yes, we have to remove only one negative. Five plus one negative. Similarly, bake is equal to yes. In bake is equal to yes, check the case of gives. So all positives are included because in all the cases the gives value is negative. All positives are included. Suppose come to the negative. Bake is equal to yes. Gives is equal to yes. This statement is removed. This is also removed. Suppose come to this one. Bake is equal to no. So this is not required. We required only this one. Bake is equal to yes. Here gives is no. Only one negative is placed. Only one negative is placed. Now, bake is equal to no means we have zero positives. Bake is equal to no means this one. For this one, gives is equal to yes. Eliminate this statement. Bake is equal to no. Gives is equal to yes. This statement is also eliminated. Zero positives and zero negatives. Zero positives and zero negatives. Okay. Bake is equal to no. Gives is equal to yes. And teeth is equal to many teeth is equal to many means 1 gives is equal to no that one is included many no included many no included three positives are included come to negative many yes it is removed many yes it is also removed many yes it is also removed many and yes it is also removed so there is no many all the negatives are removed finally teeth is equal to few few no Few no, these two positives are included. These two positives are included. Few no, one negative is also included. One negative is also included. That is what I am doing. First of my rule is gives is equal to yes. Then in all the cases, whenever gives is equal to yes, that class is negative. That class is negative. That is, we are removing that class. We are removing 
that instances from our example. Now it contains how many number? Five positives and one negative. That means after performing gives is equal to yes, gives is equal to yes. The five positives are available and these four negatives are eliminated. That means we have five positives and one negative is available. Next to define one more rule. Suppose the rule is if teeth is equal to many, then so which one we are assuming? Why we are assuming teeth? Suppose observe this one. We are defining suppose zero zero. There is no use of this one. There is no use of this one. Consider this one or consider this one also. If teeth is equal to many, we have zero negatives and three number of positives. So if teeth is based on homogeneity, teeth is equal to many, then we are assumed as the class as a positive. Whenever we are treating the class as a positive, how many number? One, two many. So only two positives are remaining and one negative. Only one negative are available. So that means that means two positives and one negative. Suppose two positives and one negative. So again same procedure. Divide these terms again. Three positives, two positives, and suppose the bake is equal to yes. Okay, bake is equal to yes, and we have one negative. Similarly, bake is equal to no. If bake is equal to no means this is a completely positive class. So no need to calculate. Similarly, teeth is equal to many. We are calculating this one. Teeth is equal to few. So two positives, one negative. The similar approach. Again. So the procedure is similar fashion. The procedure is in a similar fashion. Gills is equal to yes. Next two I am considering. Length is equal to four. I am assuming my class has a minus class. If length is equal to four, my class is the minus class. Again, some of the terms are eliminated. And finally, so here I am writing in this fashion. Else if else if yes that means all the rules else if else means if length automatically final case else the class is the positive class here the procedure is very simple step by step we add the rule and eliminate some of the statements we add the rule and eliminate some of the statements now one more point we are considered is these are suppose second rule is compulsory preceded on the first one Third one is compulsory depends on. Fourth one is compulsory depends on. And again, if length is equal to four, again the terms are reduced. Again the terms are reduced. And finally, I am constructing the tree. Now finally, this is the tree. Observe. If gills is equal to yes, in the previous step I am step by step eliminating. If gills is equal to yes, zero positives and four negatives. The class is predicted. That is the completed. If teeth is equal to many. If teeth is equal to many means we are getting suppose on gills if it is no we are moving to teeth on teeth we are getting suppose three positives zero negatives three positives and zero negatives on teeth again we are moving to third case length is equal to four if length is equal to four zero positives one negative and length not equal to four and the last case remaining the two are positives that is finally we have two positives and one negative we have two positives and one negative. See this one, zero plus two, two positives and one negative. This is the final tree, and this is the rule list. This is the rule list. Here there is no need to write the rule list in the same order. That means that we are moving to this case by considering this case only. We are moving to this one by considering this one only. We have to write in an unordered fashion also. That is, one rule does not depends on another rule. Suppose I am erasing this one. How we are writing the same rule? And the last one is if gills is equal to yes, then class is equal to minus. Okay, fix it. If that is one rule does not depends on another rule. If gills is equal to no, if we are moving else block means automatically gills is equal to no. End length is equal to sorry. 
and teeth is equal to many then class is equal to positive if these two conditions are failed that means gills is equal to no and teeth is equal to few many opposite is fails and length is equal to 4 then class is equal to minus if and all the cases are failed if all the cases are failed means gills is equal to no and teeth is equal to few and length not equal to 4 means then class is equal to positive this is the way so and finally the simple step is step by step we are add a rule based on the rule eliminate some of the positives and eliminate negatives most probably we have to make concentration on elimination of negatives this is the creation of a rule list thank you